This episode of The Sloopcast is brought to you by the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company is an Ohio-based company where they usually say our seasoning will take your barbecue from good to great. Great seasonings such as the Sonoran Heat, the Two Border, the Carey Steak, and the Mad Hatter. You can't go wrong with any of the great flavors or seasonings over at the at the Mad Canadian BBQ. Dot com. Again, that is the Bad Canadian BBQ.com. Be sure to use that promo code Sloopcast10, Sloopcast10 at checkout for 10% off your entire order. Be sure to also check out the Mad Canadian social media sites, Facebook and Twitter, to find out where he and his food truck are heading to next. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company, where they have your butt covered. This episode of the Sloopcast also brought to you by. Feel like i'm coming through real quiet kyle is am I, am I coming through real quiet on your end too just a tiny bit but you're good okay uh this episode of the sloopcast also brought to you by uh the iron bean coffee company kyle i just for the first time uh this weekend or this week probably tried the loki and it, it was a it, it loki's described as a medium light and it's like i don't like light roast that much so i was a little bit hesitant to try the loki well, I was wrong. It's amazing. It's great. Uh, so that's the Iron Bean Coffee Company. The flavors, the Loki. Uh, there are three separate, three separate coffees, all named after Nordic gods. I'm talking specifically about the the Loki. It is a wet process blend, uh, higher in caffeine, lower in acidity, rich tasting, uh, filled with fragrance. Uh, it's citrus. It's floral. Uh, has citrus and floral notes. Uh, and it's an amazing blend. I cannot, cannot recommend it more. Um, and in fact, uh, Nomad, who is one of our, our Discord folk, uh, told me, hey, you should definitely try that. You should definitely try that Loki because it's amazing. And all right, I, I did it. And he was right. It's, it's, I don't know. I don't know. It's, 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 my, it's in my top three. It's in my top three. I'm not going to say it's my favorite yet, but it's in my top three. So you can find that coffee and a whole bunch of other coffees at the Iron Bean Coffee Company dot com. That's Iron Bean. Excuse me. That's just Iron Bean Coffee dot com. Uh, Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. How is everyone doing today? Yeah. What's up, YouTube? What's up, Discord? We got a we got a bunch of people. We got a bunch mm -hmm. of people in the room right now. Yeah, it's, it's a wet Sunday. Snow in the north, rain down here where I'm at. It's just a big old forecast weather type of day. Well, and the other thing we're doing, we're not we're not counter programming NFL this week like we did the past two weeks. Basketball mm -hmm. game just ended in our reality. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, so yeah, um, you know what, Kyle? Let's let's uh, let's not talk about the basketball game at all. Let's instead uh, actually start the show for our audio listeners. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to. This Loopcast, how are you doing today, Kyle? I am doing pretty well over here, Jared. How are you today? I have no complaints. Uh, we got another basketball win. Uh, that's that's always great. That's two straight. Two this, that's two this week. Two basketball wins this week. And uh, we got National Signing Day coming up. Uh, we uh, We feel like... We know there's only two. We talked about this in detail on last week's episode. Two players left in Ohio State's 2021 class who we're still keeping an eye on. And I think most of what we're hearing right now is that JDT is not even going to sign on National Signing Day. So super anticlimactic as far as that goes. But uh, what we're still watching Rajon Davis. So we'll, we'll just see how that goes. Mm -hmm. uh, I, we gave our final predictions on Rajon Davis last week. Um, I, I said yes. Kyle said no. I was at 55% uh, 
So it was like a real light yes. I think Kyle was on a real light no. Kyle, I know we said final call. I know we said final call last time. I'm giving you an opportunity. Your your finger's still on the chess piece. Mm-hmm. Do you want to rethink it? I do not. As much as, much as I want to lean that over to the Scarlet and Gray team, I, I still got I still got to go with the Trojans here. And honestly, and honestly, probably even a little bit more favor that he'll stick with the Trojans. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, see, you and I are just furthering our divide because I've become more confident, more confident. Now, not not a ton confident, maybe like 62, yeah. uh, 62 percent now. Well, to be fair to um, I won't go into the details, but there was a nugget dropped in the in the Buckeye scoop. Yes, that could probably. Um, that's what that's, that's what that's what up me to 62. <laughs> that, that, that could that, that bad enough see him go on over to Ohio State, but yes, I know Team Jared, yeah, yada yada yada. But I'm still going to stick that he's going to stay with USC. Yeah, I, that that Nevada Nuggets will push me up to the 62 area. So we'll, right, we'll, we'll find out Wednesday. We'll find 11, out Wednesday, 11:30, 11:30. Jared, is that 11:30 Eastern? Oh, that is actually a very good <laughs> question. He's in California. My guess is 1130 Eastern because that would be 830 Pacific. Okay. I, I, I don't follow your logic on that one, but we're moving. Guys, it's it's 1130. It's, it's 1130. What time zone? We don't know. Figure that one out on your own. Uh, <laughs> but yes, it's, it's 1130. Yes, Stuart. It's always a good time to put in there that fire Kevin Warren. I don't think that's what he was saying, Kyle. Well, that's how I'm reading that. <laughs> All right. That's how I'm reading it. All right. Um, yep. Quick, quick things. As Jared mentioned before, Ohio State, um, actually, we didn't, we didn't say it into the podcast part. Uh, only the YouTube heard this, but Ohio State gets their second victory in a week here, um, pulling off a comeback win against Penn State. Last Wednesday, and as we are recording this, just got done watching Ohio State to take care of business against Sparty, seventy-nine to sixty-two. Yeah, uh, Sparty is not our normal everyday Sparty, but uh, you 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 still just take the win as a. I mean, it's you know what I mean. It's you you still beat Sparty in basketball. Is this the Sparty we're used to seeing? Absolutely not. It's absolutely it's, not. But, it's it's the same thing. It's the same thing back in the the twenty tens when, even in the late two thousands, when Michigan just wasn't Michigan and teams who normally lose to them every year. Like, hey, we're going to take this victory. I know it's not. I know it's not the team that they usually are, but they'll still take that victory. And that's how I, I look at it here. I you think any of the teams that that beat Ohio State in the two thousand eleven season are uh, saying, uh. <laughs> oh, the Ohio State wasn't very no, no. Uh Nebraska, their first ever game in, in the conference beat Ohio State. And that's a thing we can't give back, no matter how crappy that season was overall. Nope, nope. Uh so let's see here. Uh I don't I'm trying to pull up the schedule here. Um I don't think I think Ohio State only has one game. I'm pulling it up right now. So let's see. They play, yep. They play Thursday, February 4th, on the road to Iowa. That's going to be a really tough game. Very tough. Iowa is a really good top 10 quality team. Thursday at 7 p.m. Absolutely. Oh, Stuart's, Stuart's promising, another, Stuart w. promising w. another W for, <laughs> for Thursday night. Yes, that, that's actually a good point, uh, Sankar. That's something we did not put in the notes, Jared. I don't want to spend too much time, but... Which I I don't think it's going to be a Big Ten school, but which school do you think is best fit for Tathan, Mark? <laughs> I don't know. I I've I've moved on. I've moved on. I've I've moved on from from the Tate Martell saga. Man, how right. many how many how many swings does he need? How many now? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. All that, right. That's the only that's All the right. only joke I'll All make. Right. That's the only joke. I I do hope <laughs> he find. I do hope he does find the right fit. Uh, but 
I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't see, uh, I don't see him going to a power five school. How about that? Mm-hmm. All right, Kyle, this episode, we are doing something special. I reached out to our Sloop Cats in the Discord, and I said, hey, everyone, let's do an over-under special. Let's get a bunch of Ask Sloop Cats questions in here. Ask us a bunch of over-under questions, and let's let's go for it. Let's do some over-under questions. And so this, this episode is very much, it's always brought to you by the Sloop Cats, but this one's absolutely being brought to you by the Sloop Cats. They threw us a bunch of over-under questions. Uh, I told them, just whatever you got, throw it at us. And uh, here we are. Yep. And Austin Formation is right. And he says, and we delivered. <laughs> he especially delivered. I think he gave us like over 20. All right. Well, this first question here isn't really an over-under, but I mean, we could, we could, we could put in an over-under here. Um, from Austin, what is the highest possible seed in basketball? Uh, do you think Ohio State could reach for the NCAA tournament? Kyle, and what put, is put a number on it. They could fall this at this point. Kyle, put a number on it. Make it turn it into an over under. You know what? They're currently thirteenth. Let's mm-hmm. let's put that at four and a half. Let's put that at four and a half. All right. Um, I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go under. Or excuse me, over. I, ranking, no, okay, but the number, over. Uh, I see him maybe a uh, fifth or sixth seed. So I'm going to go over. You know, at this point, like, who's really all that great? I mean, there, there's, a, there's a couple of teams who played pretty well, that, but, I mean, a lot of your blue blood teams, and I think I said this last episode, but a lot of your blue blood teams are just not playing well at all and duke's fighting some rhythm right now but overall duke north carolina kentucky sparty just not what they are used to do every year so at at this point i i I agree i with austin i think right now a four seed is what they should be right now as a four seed uh Austin asks, or excuse me, Stewart asks the question, is Trace McSorley better than Tate Martell? Absolutely. 100%. One guy started for Penn State, the other guy wouldn't. Even if he was there on that team, he wouldn't have beat out Trace McSorley. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, lowest, lowest the Ohio State could fall at this point in the NCAA tournament. Ooh. I mean, their, their schedule is pretty rough. Um, to end to end this season here, Iowa. Um, they get to play Michigan, Iowa again, and Illinois. I mean, those are four top twenty teams to end the season here with eight games left. Yep, eight games and half of them are in the top twenty. That's tough. I I think the lowest at this point I could see them maybe seven. I, I would yeah. say I'd say that's that's about where I'd put it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So between at this point between four and seven. Now, if they go on a crazy spurt, like they could win on the road against Iowa, they beat Michigan, and they beat Illinois. Let's say they they no, Matt, the fin- that was season, let's say to finish the season they go they go six and two. You could you could make a real good argument that they could be like a three seed pushing a two, but yeah, I'd I feel pretty confident right now in putting them at like at a four seed. No, Matt, that was how far they could possibly fall. We're not saying that's going to happen. We're 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 talking like worst case realist like realistic worst case scenario. Mm-hmm. Yep. Speaking of nomad, how do you pronounce this city in Kentucky? That starts with an L. Louisville. Louisville. Yes. Not Lewis. He, al- he also but, asks, how do you pronounce T-T-U-N? Um, skunk bear. There you go. Uh, I, I, I typically say T-ton. I know some people go with like a T-ton. Yeah. I've, I've heard, yeah. uh, but I, I typically go T-ton personally, but whatever. It's actually Lowville for people who live there. Love I, I I can't even do it. It just sort of falls out of the mouth. Uh, yeah. Let's see from Kaboto over under nine and a half drafted in the 2022, not 2021, 2022 
draft. Well, let's look, let's look at potentially who could be going next year. Uh, let's see. You could probably maybe Petit Fourier could leave. I, well, actually, I'm not going to, I'm not going to list them all here. I'm just going to kind of rough here. Nine and a half. Just, I'm, I'm looking at the, um, I'm looking at the graph um, here of players per class here. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good number. Nine and a half. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure he, well, I, I'd like to think he put some thought into it. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to go under. I'll go under. It's, it's going to be a very young class. It's, good. it's a very young class. There are only one, two, three, four, five, six seniors slash um, redshirt seniors. But right. the but the junior class is pretty heavy though. You got nineteen in the junior class, whether let's, it's true juniors or redshirt juniors. Let's, let's count it out. This is why we're doing the entire episode around this. Let's count it out. Mm-hmm. Uh, Master Teague will I be gone after this year. I think. I don't mm-hmm. think you're redshirt, right? Yeah. Uh, will be uh, so. Master Teague. Uh, draftable. I think so. So that's one. Yep. Um, the, surprise Olave, this, the surprise this year. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, I, I cannot imagine Garrett Wilson coming back, although I would have said the same thing about Olave, but there's three. Yep. Ruckert. Yep. Ruckert. Yep. Uh, I'm not watching you, Kyle. So yeah, give me a, give me a. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yep. I got you here. All right. Thayer Munford. Mm-hmm. Yep. I got Munford. Uh, Petit Fourie. Yep. That, that's one I was kind of on a cusp, but I'm really thinking that Petit would leave as well. Yep. Uh, let's see. Did, are there any other? Uh, it's possible. It. See, because we also have to play the will they leave after the next year game. I think I'm going to stick with those two on the offensive line, although it's certainly possible that. But yeah, we'll, we'll just stick with them for right now. Um, okay. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I don't see right now. Now, this this could change. But for right now, I don't see. Uh, uh, is Tyler Tyler Friday? I, I don't see him leaving early. Uh, Tyreek Smith, I, I do see leaving early and I do see is draftable. Yep. Um, what about what about Baptiste, John Baptiste? Um, I, I don't see him as someone who's leaving early yet. That can okay. change. Um, Zach Haskell Harrison, Kurt. I see as a guy who could leave early and would be very draftable. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's let let's let's put that one in there. Although that one's a bit of a question mark. Yep. Haskell Garrett gone and draftable. Yep. Um. Let's see. Togi has gone already. Cage. Cage is potentially draftable. That's okay. The last time we had a half and half, we didn't do it. So let's. Yeah. All right. The line, the linebackers are so up in the air. Um, so if you look at like Gant, Mitchell and Poe. They're all fourth year guys. Uh, what if we just say one of them? Just say one of them. What's that's yeah. that's nine. Uh, Banks and Brown. I, th- I think I can see Banks going. Yeah, I can too. Uh, Brown. It depends upon how he comes back from the injury. I, I'd say I'm going to say over. Yep. At, at that point, yeah, you're at ten Josh there. That, Proctor, that would be over then. Yeah, I'm I'm going over. Mm-hmm. All right, Kyle. Uh, next question. All right, let me go back here. Next question here. Over under on the number of offensive linemen that will start in 2021. And the over under is eight and a half. Over okay. under, uh, under. So that would, and so you have five automatically. First snap, mm-hmm. five. So would we have three alternative starters? Um, there's injuries that play in. Potentially. Uh, it would have to be four starters. Um, let's, I'm going to say, I'm going to say under. 
Mm -hmm. Now, if you put this on like six and a half, I think six and a half would be a lot better number. Yeah. Yeah. I'd I'd feel, I'd feel pretty good about saying under for that one. Florida Um, Buckeye or nope. I skipped sun card. Sun card asks over under the number. I just said that. Sorry. I'm, (laughs) we have a lot of questions here. Florida Florida Buckeye number of sec teams in the playoffs this year, one and a half. So one or two. I'm going to go under. I agree. I agree. Under. I mean, Bama, Ohio State, Clemson. Who's that fourth one? Could be Notre Dame. Could be uh, USC, I think, is a possibility. And I say that largely based off of it, it how never easy it is Oklahoma to, to, to run the Pac-12. Mm-hmm. Oklahoma, never. of course. You know, Georgia and Florida, I think, are capable, but will it just sort of depends upon if there's a fourth yep. better option. Yep. I, I go under. I will go under. As will I. All right. Uh, Dinger asks well, over under on the number of okay. two back, two O personnel sets per game. Three and a half. Uh, there have been talks about. Uh, no, Nomad's muted. Uh, let's see. There are talks about. Ohio State using more 20 personnel. Now, for anyone who does not know, a 20 personnel is two running backs and three wide receivers. Uh, Three and a half times per game. I, I don't see them taking Rucker off of the field all that frequently. So that hurts that. Um, Ryan Day has talked about using two running backs a lot more than he's actually done it. So I'm going to go under. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll go with under two now. Now, when you say two back, could that also be the, I don't know. It's, it's personnel. So even if say Rucker lines up as a, in the running, in a running back spot Mm -hmm. in the field, it's still, it's a personnel question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll go, I'll go with under. I'll go with under. Yep. All right. All right. Here we go. Stewart with a ton of them here. Um, over under on picks. I'm going to guess with um, with um, interceptions. Is that what you mean there, Stewart? When you mean over under on picks at six and a half? Yes. Interceptions. Uh, for the entire season? Over. Yeah. I'll go with over. Granted that we would have a full season. <laughs> I, I am, I'm assuming we're having a full season in 2021. Yep. Sex as a team, 29 and a half. So let's say 13 games, 12 games. Let's say 12 games. Um, You're averaging about two and a half per game, just under three. Yeah. Um, How it was not that good last year with sacks i well that there's a lot of reasons for that yeah um yeah i a lot of those reasons i think will be better this year um uh i'm gonna go over i'm i was gonna go under this year okay i'll go i I think it'd probably be closer to like 25 for the entire season Hmm? god i hope not yeah i know I know. All right. Sacks uh, specifically for Zach Harrison at 5.9. Higher, higher. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think that's a, I think 5.9 is a great number. I think that's a great number. I think six or seven is, is about where I'd slot him at. Mm-hmm. No, um, I no. want more than that. So six or seven is conservative. But mm-hmm. I think that's like I think six or seven is minimum expectation in my mind. Yep. I hope he has a breakout year as well, Austin. Mm-hmm. Um, we just haven't seen it yet. Nope. Now Smith. Smith at seven point two. I'm going to go under there. I think there's going to be a lot of rotation. They're going to try and get Noah Potter on the field. They're going to try and get um, Jack Sawyer on the field. I think it's going to be fairly difficult to get for anyone to get seven sacks this year. I think there's going to be a lot. I think there's going to be a lot of rotation. 
Yep. Yeah, I agree. I think it's going to be under. I think it'll be under. Uh, uh, 482 right. points. 42 point games. 42 point games. Um, over under eight and a half. <laughs> I was, I'm not going to play as shenanigans with the decimal points. 42 point um, games over under eight and a half. I'll go with over. I'll go with over just because as much as, much as it hurts Ohio State's schedule, if you, if you want to go that game, Big Ten is not all that good. They're not all that good. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's 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 so weird because we're gonna have and how how much two years make it how much here we are two years later when we said back in the 2019 season like man the the Big Ten East division like that's one of the best divisions in the in college football now we're looking oh. at here is like whew, oh boy oh boy. Yikes. Hey, hey, Stuart, it's my show, and I will read the decimal points as I please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd go with over. I'd go with over. If it's like 13 games Ohio State plays, yeah, it's going to be, I'd say I'd put the over under maybe like a, like nine and a half, ten and a half. I, I, I don't share your confidence, Kyle. I don't share your confidence. All right. Well, I have the full confidence in this team for the 2021 season. Kyle, the discord has turned on me because I turned. Yep. It is all team Kyle now. (laughs) All right. Moving on here. Quarterbacks playing in meaningful time, one and a half. So will we have a QB battle this year, Jared? Oh, man, this, this is a fantastic question. It's, it's, it is. it's a great question. And, it, and, it, and it's always it always goes back. You either have your quarterback or you don't have a quarterback. Yeah, uh, I, I think they pick a guy and go with it. Uh, now that now that being said, quarterbacks playing in meaningful time. I think they try and sprinkle some accord in there just to sprinkle some accord in there. I think mm-hmm. they do it. So I, I think it's it's going to be over. But I don't. But I do think Stroud takes ninety eight percent of the meaningful snaps, or Jack Miller, or whoever wins. It's probably Stroud. But whoever the quarterback winner is, if we count meaningful snaps, it's going to be like ninety five percent. Yeah, I just think, yeah, this year is just going to be really interesting. I, I'd go over to. I, I think there'll be a couple of quarterbacks that will play meaningful time. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's just a I don't have a good reason. <laughs> it's just something that it just has in my back of my mind here. I, I think like, we're going to see more than one for the entire season. Like we we saw we saw we went over on this this year. Now, granted, it was Stroud taking a single meaningful snap in the postseason, but it happened. We went over this year, and there was one snap also <laughs> during this regular season as well. That was was that meaningful time? Mm, eh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, either way. All right. Um, all right. Big greasy starts at two and a half. Uh like does does Dwan Jones start or doesn't he? Yep. I I I don't know. I'm I'm I didn't put when we did the depth chart preview, I didn't put him as a starter, but Injuries also happen. So if I was putting money on this, I'd say over just because injuries happen. And I think he's one of the first guys off the bench. So I'm going to go over. Okay. I. And also the possibility that he does win a spot. Yeah. So coming at that from two separate angles. I, I think I'll go under with this one. I think I'll go under. Okay. I hope someone's sure. keeping track of all these and then we can do a, a show at this time next year of all the crap I'm, we got I'm, wrong. I'm looking at you, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Dinger. Over under games with four or more touchdown passes. Doesn't have to be from one. It could be combination of quarterbacks. <laughs> Austin says spreadsheets are already in place. <laughs> nice. 
Uh, Four touchdown passes or more. Uh, six and a half. I'm going to go over. I'll go. I'll go. Yeah, I'll go over as well, especially when I said that over the 42 points per game. Yeah, yeah. you're already. <laughs> I'll go over. <laughs> you're already locked in. Yep. Duncan from the Discord. This one's What's not the status? Under. Yeah, what is the status of the team up north coaching carousel? They seem to be doing a youth movement. Uh, they, they've gotten rid of a few people. Um, Gaddis still has a job, and I don't know. I, I would like to think I would think he has better options, but he's sticking with it. Um, mm-hmm. But it, they're, they're going youth in Michigan, and we'll see how that plays out for him. I don't know. Yeah, I think I saw something about their like in the, definitely in the 30s. I don't know if it's mid 30s or something, but the average age of the coaches were in the 30s. Yeah, it's it's a real young staff. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kyle, I believe it is time to do an ad read. Uh, yes, I'm gonna. I talked a little bit about the Iron Bean Coffee Company. I talked a lot about specifically. Specifically, the Loki. Let's talk about some of our other Nordic gods. Uh, there's the Thor. Uh, if the Loki is a medium light, the Thor is a medium dark. Uh, thunder and lightning will course through your veins. Uh, and then don't forget Dad. Uh, there's Odin. Uh, it's a coffee that will keep you fighting long after you should have gone to Valhalla. Now, Kyle, we we have to talk about the Iron Bean Coffee Company because they're worth talking about. This is a world-class roast-to-order micro-batch coffee company based out of Toledo, just outside of Toledo, in Perrysburg, Ohio. They are fair trade certified. They are USDA organic. Uh, He is a former, I don't know if former is the correct way of saying that. Uh, He is a veteran. He's a Marine. Uh, He is... Doing everything right by this company. It's a company built. Is it okay to say ex Marine, Stuart? Uh, I know you aren't. uh, No. He says no. (laughs) Okay. Once a Marine, always a Marine. Is that the rule, Stuart? I know you aren't Marine, but I I, I don't. Okay. Once a Marine, always a Marine. Uh, (laughs) uh, he's He's doing the entire company based purely on integrity. Um, it's integrity is their core value and they do everything right. Even when no one's looking, uh, gift cards are available, free shipping over $50. And there's a subscribe and save service. So you can find all of that and more at ironbeancoffee.com. That's iron bean Co- coffee, America's local coffee roaster. This episode is also brought to you by our good friends over at the mad Canadian barbecue company. Hey, be sure to be sure to check out the Mad Canadian's uh, packages that he has put together here, because from what I hear, some of these are seasonal and may go out. So be sure to be sure if I can talk right <laughs> to jump on. Why start now? Bandwagon before it goes out. Just get the whole hog. Get one of each of the seasonings that the Mad Canadian has over at the Mad Canadian that's too much if that's too much for your blood which i don't see why why it would be you can just go with the just send it which consists of the s p bud the snoring heat the cajun and the smoked or you can go with the sweet heat which has the four horsemen the discord two border and the old fashioned honestly you can't go wrong with any of these um these sets here that the mad canadian has all just great great seasonings overall wide variety the oak midwestern style uh get some get some spice with the four horsemen the s p bud your your basic salt and pepper blend seasoning or the smoked for your next barbecue just where are we up here? 13? I think 13 seasonings over at the madcanadianbbq.com. And you can also, on top of that, use the promo code SLOOPCAST10, SLOOPCAST10, for 10% more off your entire order. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company, more he has your butt covered. All right, Kyle. Uh, let's get back into the questions. Uh, All right. We have from the Jared. Oh, that's me. Yes, Jared. Number of carries by true freshman running backs. The over-under is at 50 
percent. Fifty percent from true freshmen, which there there will be two. There will be two Henderson and Pryor. And I will say it's going to be under. I agree. Uh, I I kind of I kind of hope it's not the case. Um, I I want. And I'm not saying that the coaches would be doing anything wrong by this not happening. But what I am saying is that I want these running backs to come in and also be good at the uh, we, we know they can carry the ball. But they need to come in and be good at the other things, the things you're doing when the ball's not in your hands. And if they can do that, I think uh, maybe Henderson specifically could be a real difference maker for this team. So that's what I'm hoping I am wrong, but I am going to say under. All right. Uh, next question. Yep. We have over here. under number of snaps played by true freshmen collectively. And he has 500. I, I don't, I don't know how to, I don't know how to scale that. <laughs> I, well, on average, let's say Ohio State typically likes to run a 60, maybe closer to 70 plays per game. That's on the offense. So you have to, so it's like 120, maybe yeah, total. 100. And of course, then you get multiple freshmen on the field at the same time. So that would count as multiple. And you got 21 of them. Oh, this is. Oh, the math is too big on this. Math is not Jared's um, strong point. It's, the math is too big. It's math. It's math. It's and it's a lot I'll, of it. You know what? I'll go over. You know, what? I'll go over here. I mean, you got you got the running backs here. You got some receivers who potentially could see some time. I maybe. <laughs> um, you got you got Sawyer at defensive end. Um, could possibly see something from the DBs. Maybe. I, I yeah, I you know what? I'll I'll go with over. I'll go with over. I'm gonna go over too, and that's just because Kyle said it and I, I I'm tired of thinking <laughs> of these numbers. Buckeye Zach asks the question, how do you feel about JT Tui Molau saga? Um as he might go ahead and wait until uh April for visits. Not an over under, but an ask sloop gas question nonetheless. I I'm fine with it. I, this has always been his plan. He has been saying for a while that he was wanting to take his visits. He want to take he want he wants to take his visits. Um, the fact that we have become incredibly confident that he's coming to Ohio State is is not a big deal to me that all, we were very confident. And then all of a sudden he's going to take his visits. We never said we were very confident that he, when he was going to sign only that he would sign. So I'm still confident that he's coming to Ohio state. I don't mind that he's taking his visits. Uh, this is, this has been a weird situation for everybody and whatever he's got to do to make himself feel good is fine by me. He's still a Buckeye no matter if he signs in February or April, it's all, it's all good by me. Yeah. Just, he, he is one of the top recruits here. Take your time, but I, I agree. I don't think I see any, any signs of him to go away from Ohio state at this point. He went, but 24 seven released their final rankings. And when I'm, I'm talking about the 24 seven, like proper rankings now, not the composite. Mm -hmm. He was the number one player in the country from the very first rankings for the 2021 class until the very last rankings for the 2021 class. And again, that's the 24 seven sports proper rankings, not the composites. Mm -hmm. He can do it. He wants, and it's fine by me. Yep. All right, Kyle, we have a bunch of questions here from Austin, from our friend, Austin Graham. Uh, so, these are all Austin Graham until we say otherwise. <laughs> all right. Game started by CJ Stroud, 12 and a half. Uh, I'm going to go under, even though I think it's going to be over. Again, if we're, if we're betting actual money on this, injuries are a thing. 
potential maybe covid outages could still be a thing i don't know someone else can win the job um i wouldn't put actual money on it even though i do think that's what happens mm -hmm. yeah i you know what? i'll go with over i think i think he is at this point your start your starter right now he's gotten the nod over some whatever play time there was <laughs> from right. last year so I think he's got the nod bearing any injuries. Yeah. I think, I think he'll go over. Yeah. I, 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 I do think that's what happens. I just don't think it would be smart money to actually pull mm -hmm. the trigger on that bet. Yep. Over under Ohio state playing 14 and a half games this season, bearing any COVID outbreaks. You aren't getting out of this Jared. So what that essentially means that they're going, he's asking, are they going to the national title game? Mm -hmm. Is that essentially what he's asking us here? Mm -hmm. You know what? C cover, cover your ears here. I'm going to go under. I just, I wouldn't put money on them going. I think they go to the playoff. I, I don't know what the other teams are going to look like. You don't know how you're going to get seated. It is a weak schedule. I imagine Ohio state gets seated two or three. You don't know how good the uh, it's, I wouldn't put money on it. I wouldn't put money on Ohio state returning to the national title game. Mm -hmm. I mean, you gotta, you gotta, oh, I think it's incredibly possible by the way. I just wouldn't put money on it. Mm -hmm. You got, I mean, it's tough for me to say. I mean, you can easily just say, Oh, they have a new quarterback and yeah, and it's a big you, deal. And you and you got to pick the quarterback when you're choosing who's going to win the game, especially when it comes to conference titles and the um, playoffs. But you could say that same thing with Justin Fields. His first year, he came in Ohio State and sure. just torched everybody up. Sure. So so could one of could one of those quarterbacks come in and torch up everybody? Absolutely. Yeah. But until I really see them out on the field and all that, I, I'm going to go under. Well, that's a th and, and also just other teams exist. <laughs> just other teams exist. And yes. so where does Ohio State rank up against those other teams? I just, I just wouldn't put money on it. That's all. Mm -hmm. I, it's Pass incredibly possible. I just wouldn't put money on it. Yeah. Pass is thrown by Ohio State quarterbacks at 340 and a half. I think this will be more of a run heavy team. What? Do, how many do, do we know? I feel like uh, Austin always puts thoughts into those questions. How many did Justin Fields throw? Of course, to say how many did he throw last season, it would actually be more accurate. How many did he throw season before last? That's that's our more accurate. 2019, he threw 354 passes. And that was a fair that was a run heavy team because of J.K. Dobbins. I'll, I'll go. I'm going to go under. He, they, I'm, I'm still, I'm still going to go under. I think Ohio State's going to run the ball a lot this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think, I think I'll go under. I'll go under. All right, uh, let's see here, Jared. Uh, do, 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 do. Master Sorry, Teague. Back to my tab here. Yep, Master Teague, Travion Anderson, and Mayan Williams. Those three running backs rushing for. 2,299 and a half yards. So, so under 2,300 yards for the season. Across those three running backs. Uh, run heavy year. That's a lot, though. Uh, even for three running backs, because I, I think two running backs end up getting the majority of the carries this year. Wh who, who are those two running backs? That's yet to be seen. Uh, I would feel better about this had he just said the running backs as opposed to having to limit it to these three. Had he just said the running backs, I mean, you essentially need two running backs rushing for 1,300 yards each. Uh, and like, what if Pryor's the other one? What if Crowley's the other one? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go under here. Had he just said the running backs, I may have gone over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I I think I'll go under as well. I think there's gonna be a lot of rotation with the running backs here. It's gonna be 
pretty much very similar. Like we, we saw, yeah. I guess kind of like last year too, there was a lot of splits going on, but I think more so this year with more running backs. So yeah, I'll go, I'll go under. Jeremy Ruckert touchdowns over under seven and a half. Year of the tight end. We're going over. Go, go, we are we're going, going all in. Over. We're going all in. This is the year. This is the year. Over. You're going over. You we're got you over. got a young quarterback. And who do young quarterbacks go for? Those They're big, big old tight ends. Zone eaten tight ends, especially in the red zone. Yeah. Give me them tight ends. Defensive slash special teams touchdowns, one and a half. That number just feels a little low to me, so I'm going to go over. That's it. That you only needs to happen twice. You're you're getting max schools on the. You can't push and a half, Stewart. <laughs> over, over. Yeah. And just, by the way, going back going back to Ruckert. 2019, four touchdowns. Mm-hmm. 2000, 2020, five touchdowns. He's getting seven. He's getting seven <laughs> this year. Well, so we're skipping six. We're skipping six. We're going seven. Well, you would need to get to eight. All right, we're going eight. We're skipping six <laughs> and seven. We're going eight. We're going eight. Uh, let's see. Uh, freshman, uh, for COVID purposes, we'll say 2000. 21 class or 2022 class who played less than 25 offensive or defensive snaps in 2020. Okay. Starters on. Okay. Freshman starters on defense slash offense two and a half. So we'll, we'll, we'll qualify that by saying starting for the majority of the year or even if, if a freshman starts once, does that count as a? He says, uh, well, Stewart says he should just be any start. Um, they have to be, let's say they have to be named a starter. Can't be due to injury. Yep. Okay. A freshman named a starter, but it can't be due to injury. They actually have to win the starting spot. And we are at least counting some of the underused 2020 players. I'm just looking at this freshman list here. It is very tough. Honestly, it's really tough for me to. I, I don't. Sit here. I don't see it. Mm-hmm. Um, now, of course, if we're counting Stroud and Miller, whoever ends oh. up winning that battle, or McCord. <laughs> I'm going to go with true freshman. I'm going to go with true freshman here. Well, but that's not what he said. He mm-hmm. said, or 2020 class who played less than 25 offensive. D-. So the quarterback, whoever's the quarterback, that's one. So yeah. we only need two more. Well, you could put Scott or Fleming or, or, um, I think they played more than they, 25 snaps. Didn't they? What's that? They, those, the, all, all those wide receivers played more than 25 snaps. I would say. Mm. I don't know if we can easily find that. Not, 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 uh, not while, not while we were recording. No. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I'm. You only need two. You only need two more, because the quarterback automatically qualifies. Uh, I, I, I still go under. I, I still think I'm gonna go under, under as well. Yeah. Um, I think Sawyer and the running backs. I, I think are going to get a lot of looks. I just I, don't I think, know if they're going to get a lot of starts. I think your second one could potentially be down the road in the, um, in the season could be a running back. I think Henderson could very well play. Mm-hmm. Um, I start rather later in the year. Um, I ransom got more than 25 starts. He did. Yeah. Stewart. Uh, I, I just, I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, no, wait, wait, we have two already. We're going to smash the over. I'm going to go with Stewart here. We're going to smash the over. Okay. We got Siebert and we got Mirko starting your kicker and punter. Oh, we're smashing yeah. the over. 
that's, that's or changing great, it or smashing that over. That's a great call, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> the quarterback, the punter, the kicker. Done. Yep. Moving on. That's easy Big money Ten. right there. <laughs> All right. Big Ten coaches fired during or after this upcoming season. Three and a half. Big Man, Ten if- coaches. Oh, uh, fired after this year. I don't know. I mean, you, you could probably three and a half seems pretty steep. Two and a half, two and a half would have given me a lot more thought. I, w- I would definitely go under here. Uh, I think Frost, if he has another bad year. Yeah, that that, that could be um, Harbaugh. He just got his extension. They won't fire he, him. He yes, might, he, he might have leave, to leave, but they won't fire him. Yes, correct. Now, Franklin. Uh, another bad year. He's in, He might be done. So that'd be two right there. I, I, I'd go under with I'm this gonna one. I'm going to go under as now. well. I don't see it. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Here, here's, here's, here's the tough one and one that I don't really want to talk about, but how state games canceled at one and a half. Under. I, I just, I don't. I, I. And maybe I'm being naive, but I, I'd really like to think that by September we have enough of the vaccine out that mm-hmm. canceling games is no longer necessary. Yeah, I, I'm I'm going to go under as well. Um, all right, we're going to move a little bit quicker here, Jared. Uh, catches by anyone who is not Olave and Wilson at 79 and a half under, 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 under. Um, does under. he mean for the entire team or an individual getting? By any one, one, any one person under. Uh, if it's by any one person under. Uh, if it's by, if it's like Olave Wilson and then the team over. I'm not sure which one he meant. Oh, so. I, I'd, I'd still go under. I, <laughs> I go, still would go under. I'd go over if it's the entire collective of the team. All right, next one. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Touchdowns by. A 2020 or 2021 receivers slash tight ends at eight and a half under. Under that that's a big number. That's that's too. I mean, you got most of the touchdowns are going to go to Alave Wilson and uh, Rucker. Rucker. (laughs) Uh, Um, For the entire season, though, thirteen games. Yeah, I go under. We're also including the 2020 wide receivers. I go under. No, I'm going over. I changed my answer. Over. I go under. Got to go over. Uh, missed missed field goals or extra points by Ohio State. Four and a half. Field goals were go, uh, over? I'm going to go under. I don't think they're going to kick many field goals this year. I'm well, go that's... <laughs> I hope you're correct. <laughs> under. Points per game allowed by Ohio State. 23.99. So under mm-hmm. 24 points a game. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go over here. Yeah, it's a young te- young team. It's a young, talented, inexperienced defensive team. Yeah, I'd go. I go over. Yeah, they're they're going to screw themselves on the average during September, but that's fine as long as they don't lose any games and they get better. But I yep. think the defense is not going to look good in September. Mm-hmm. All right, um, yards allowed per game thirty six, three hundred sixty five and a half per game. I'm. I might actually, despite what I just said, go under here. You know, I was thinking the same, but you know what? I'm just going to say over. That's fair. <laughs> I'll go over just to disagree. Miss, I, I like this one. I really, really like this one. Um, I want to answer this first, though. But uh, mispronunciations of Haskell Garrett's name over under 10 and a half. Now, how many games will be the Herb Street special. Yeah, well, that uh, I feel like most of the games are on Fox now. So, so. If, if there's three games, if there, all right, let's just say two games. If there's two games that Ohio State's going to be on ESPN and it's going to be Herb Street in the game that's going to be calling the game, over. If there's two, at least two he games, it's going to be it over. He has a whole offseason. He might figure it out. I'm going to go under. Okay. Ohio State players that take a direct snap from center on the season, three and a half over, over. Yeah, I have to imagine all three of the quarterbacks, then just shenanigans. 
shenanigans. Um, of course, we are we uh, direct snap from center because also at that point, the punter, you have to include the punter. He receives both that and the and the field goals. So the punter counts as one. Then you have three quarterbacks who could potentially all receive snaps at some point this year. Mm -hmm. Over. Yep. I go over too. And then like <clears throat> a wildcat or something can happen. Mm -hmm. Over under from uh, over under receiving touchdowns by running backs at five and a half. Under. Yeah, I think I think under. That's that's a that's a really good number. I go under though. Yeah, Sex by number. Ohio State defensive tackles, seven and a half. By the tackles? Uh by a name we just said two minutes ago. I Tokyo no, I always but, felt like more the pass rusher to me, though. Not so much Haskell. Um I, I go I'm gonna under. go under. I'm, gonna over here. I'm going under. Interceptions by non DBs, four and a half. Ooh. Under, I'm going to go under unless unless there's a linebacker or a pair of linebackers that just go crazy this season. I'm going to go under. Yeah, I'm going to go over. OK. Amount of OSU nooners, six and a half. Over. Over. Yes. Amount that, of Ohio Fox State away game. Ohio State. Yeah. Amount of Ohio State away games kicking after 630, two and a half. Ohio State away games kicking off after 632. And so we aren't counting neutrals because yep. neutrals aren't away. They're neutrals. Yep. Okay. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm yep. going to say yep. under. Yeah, I'm going to go under. I think two is two is probably that number there. Now, if we if we if we count neutrals, then over. But if we don't under mm -hmm. Ohio State passing touchdowns over under 31 and a half. Give me the over. Yeah, over. Ohio State games that they do not cover the spread, four and a half. Ohio State games that they do not cover the spread, four and a half. Hey, that, 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 is, that is interesting because I, I wonder. I'm going to just say how over. Many, how, how much Vegas will think about this Ohio State team without fields and how close or how not close the games may be. I'm really just, the Vegas designs that and not to say that it always works, but Vegas tries to design that to be 50 50. So in theory, per Vegas, Ohio go, State should go 500 against that. Therefore, I'm going over. Yeah, I think so, too. Um, all right. Um, oh, we got one more here from him. From Austin, are the people who have Zach Wilson over Justin Fields dumb, or are they just stupid? <laughs> um, sure, yes, both. Here's the here's the problem with Zach Wilson. He never had to play a defense nearly as good as Alabama, nearly as good as Clemson, or nearly as good as Northwestern. So, and when I say defense, I'm both talking about the talent on the field, the coaches the quality control guys who are watching the film looking for tendencies never had to face anything like that. Never. So did fields have weaknesses exposed? Sure. But those are just weaknesses that Zach Wilson never had exposed. Yep. Agreed. All right. A uh, couple more questions here. Nomad asks us, Jared, how many, how much film of Wilson have any of us watched? What, uh, a film of Wilson, Garrett Wilson. What? I think he. Oh, I think, he I think he's just Wilson. responding to yes. Austin's thing. Zach Wilson. Yeah. Uh, actual film zero. I, I watched some games. Actual mm -hmm. film yes. zero. I agree. Uh, let's see. The Jared asks us. Let's see. <laughs> Ohio State regular season losses set at point five. And I think I'll go, I'll go back to my earlier statement here about how bad the yeah. conference is and will be for Oregon. 2021. Oregon. Uh, I'll still go under. Yeah, under. I agree. <laughs> Give me a slight hesitation, but then I realize Oregon's not going to be the same as no. what they could have been no. or was from last year. I'm going to go under still. 
I mean, and from my understanding, COVID, it's still going to be in Columbus. As for now, I, I have a feeling that gets moved to a neutral site or something because Oregon still needs their payday. Play it at Indy. Play it at Indy. <laughs> sure. All right. Uh, Sun Card asks us, will the Buckeyes have more punt return touchdowns or losses in 2021? Oh, that's an interesting question. More punt return touchdowns or losses? Um, that's that's coming at me from both sides. Um, yeah, losses. I put. I would say Ohio State loses once this year. Um, once, maybe twice, but we'll say once. And they haven't had a punt return touchdown in how long? So. The odds on favorite here are losses, unfortunately. It is. It is, yes. Or no, 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 Jared. The correct answer is neither because the answer is zero for both. I <laughs> if neither was an option, I would have taken tie. I mean, if tie was an option, I would have taken tie. Yeah. All right. Seven banks interception total for the year, one and a half. Over. I'll go with the over. Yeah. I'll go with I over. think two two is a totally reasonable number. Yes. That was from Buckeye underscore Zach, by the way. Yes. And at the Jared. That's me. Ryan Day. What was that cartoon show that I, was like? I don't know. I am I know I'm doing something. <laughs> I don't know what it was. But uh, Ryan Day. Ryan Day is two for two making the playoffs so far. After his 10th year, seven and a half, will he be having seven or more games? Less than eight games in 10 years of making the playoffs. Well, so it, uh, playoff appearances. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to go with over because I think here in the near future, I, I think I think we're going to see the playoffs. Oh, I, hadn't I think even, we'll see an extension in the playoffs, which will make it even easier for our hostage. I hadn't even considered that as a possibility. Yeah, I'm going to go with over. that as a possibility, the answer now has to be over. Yes. Yeah. You got me on that uh, one, Kyle. Uh, um, two more. Amount of from Austin Formation. Amount of Big Ten teams to make a bowl game over eight and a half. I'm gonna go under. I'm gonna go under there. Yeah, I tend to agree. Um, mm-hmm. uh, it, it could, it could easily be. It's a great number. It's a great. It's a great number, Austin. But I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna go under. It's a great number, though. Buckeye Zach, SEC begins regulation of Reddit. <laughs> Which SEC? <laughs> that's an SEC pun right there. That's 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 fun stuff. All right, uh, Kyle, that's all of our questions. Which means yes. it's the end of the show. Yes. Oh, uh, Stuart has one question for you, Jared. Hit me. V- Vamahi. More snaps on offense or defense? Offense. I think it's entirely possible, entirely possible that he wins the starting job at guard. Mm -hmm. All right, Kyle, now that's the end of the show. I want to thank everyone for listening to the show, first and foremost, whether you be on the um, audio only version or the YouTube version or listening live like so many of our uh, Discord people did. Let's see. Uh, check out the sloopcast.com for just links to all of our stuff. All of our stuff include two merch stores, um, one of which is our 7071 store. I'm wearing the logo for that right now. Uh, that's sort of our just non podcast apparel. Apparel is essentially what that is. If you want some podcast apparel stuff, uh, you can check out merch.thesloopcast.com. And this is 7071. The sloopcast.com. Come join us in our Discord. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's uh, discord.thesloopcast.com. If you want access to the premium channels, if you want to listen live, if you want to chat live, if you want early access to episodes, all sorts of other cool benefits, uh, visit Patreon, P A T R E O N dot the sloopcast.com. And like I said, if you need links to any of these things, including Kyle and I's social media pages, uh, our Apple podcast link, our YouTube links, all the all the links. You can find all of those at thesloopcast.com. Kyle, do you have anything in Kyle's corner for this week? Um, there was some college football. 
that was ha- that played uh, this weekend. Okay, that was okay, the okay. Senior Bowl. That was the Senior Bowl. Ohio State players Cooper, Borland, Hilliard, and Browning all made appearance and all seemed to seem to make some sort of good impact um, in the game. There, I personally didn't watch the game, but I got to see some highlights. Got to see some different things from the game, and I think all from what I've read here, I think all four did really well but i think it was uh browning who um who made a lot of um more of an impact over the four yeah Uh, and you also have to keep in mind that the senior bowl stuff is a lot like the spring game stuff what actually happens in the game is is nice what really matters is the week the practices leading up to the spring game are more important than the actual game itself the yep. same thing applies with the senior bowl. Tough Borland, Jared. Looking looking out there with some um athleticism there. I saw one there. He almost had an interception. He made it he made a diving reach when he was playing zone, had his hands on the ball, but didn't quite grab it down. But it was a it was a great athleticism um attempt there on on a um one of his um plays there. And former Buckeye um uh, Grimes yeah. ends up with a touchdown as well. Yeah. Um, often wonder what that could have been like had he stayed at Ohio State. But, you know, it is yep. what it is. It is. All right. And that is all I have for today, Jared. Hey, uh, hey, Stuart, you got, you got any uh, music recommendations? Anything we played in the past you like? You got anything? You have to you have to do it quick. Nope. Oh, he just says nope. Thanks. <laughs> just, he just noped me. He just goes, nope. That's all he did. He just noped me. Uh, let's go Parade Rainer. Uh, it should be a nice, fast punk song to end today's show. Uh, so, yeah, I think, Kyle, that's it. So with all of that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and, of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Parade Rainer. Thanks, Stuart. Yes, Glad thanks, you like the show. For, thanks for sticking around here. Absolutely. Thanks to everyone who joined us in the Discord. Thanks to everyone who's watching us on YouTube right now. Um, if you don't know, if you maybe you've uh, more recent, uh, the podcast only people are the only people who get music because YouTube is hyper strict about music. So yeah. the podcast people get the music. You guys get this little uh, this little talking section of the show. And a little tidbit of information here for those on YouTube. According to PFF Draft, Jonathan Cooper had the second highest graded defensive player in the Senior Bowl. Uh, that, yeah, that's that's fantastic. Uh, mm-hmm. I, and former, former Big Ten player Shaka Tony was there at, at third. Yeah, I... It's a real shame he had to be on this year's Penn State team <laughs> for his sake. Yep. But uh, that's a uh, let's Kyle. Let's end the show. Okay. Let's just end the show before I get myself in trouble. Want to once again thank Prey Drainer for ending today's show, and I want to once again thank the Iron Bean Coffee Company for sponsoring today's show. Iron Bean Coffee Company is a premium small batch roast to order veteran owned coffee company. Uh, they have fair trade certified and USDA organic beans. Uh, they have gift cards available. They have free shipping over $50. And of course, you can save money with a subscribe and save service. They have flavored coffees. They have dark roast. They have medium roast. They don't have a lot of light roast, but it is, I've had the Loki and that's the only light roast you'll ever need. I promise. Uh, Some of the flavored coffees include the mom's carrot cake, the intense blueberry and the mint chocolate chip. There's also the unicorn, which is a mystery flavor. And it's just it's going to be different every time. That's that's part of the fun with the unicorn. Uh, Let's see. Uh, They also have a sampler pack. You can essentially buy four, excuse me, six, four ounce bags uh, instead of instead of getting a whole pound of coffee. And by the way, their pounds of coffee are actually pounds of coffee. Not not any of this 12-ounce crap. 
uh, actual pound of coffee and it will, um, but instead of getting the actual pound, instead you get four pound bags or excuse me, four ounce bags. And, uh, basically in case you just want to try out a bunch of different coffees until you find that one or those two that are your favorites, you can just sort of, like I said, try out the sampler. You can find that and a lot more at ironbeancoffee.com. That's Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. This episode is also brought to you by our good friends over at the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company. Mad Canadian has been a, a good friend and sponsor of the Sloopcast. In that order. For, in that order. <laughs> for quite a while now. Um, so I'm... We've talked about every spice here, so let's let's kind of dig into let's do what he has here in the pork rubs, Jared. Uh, he has here some some of his seasonings that would go well on some pork barbecuing. The savory, the savory is an excellent seasoning that he puts, or it's the exact seasoning he puts all over his pulled pork over at the Mad Canadian Barbecue. It's a salty, savory mix that is sure to be a favorite at your next barbecue or you can go with the two border it's a great mix of maple sugar and red pepper flakes that he uses on all of his ribs um, it gives a good maple sugar that gives a clean crisp sweet flavor while the red pepper flake adds just the right amount of heat on that pork also goes great on some eggs and bacon or you can go with one of my favorites and one of my staples jared the sonoran heat it's a very versatile seasoning it uh, started out as a taco seasoning but became a favorite from tacos to chicken wings to even burgers um, and everything in between it, it is a flavor born of the southwest with just the right amounts of spice and heat Check out all of those and much, much more over at TheMedCanadianBBQ.com. And be sure to use that promo code SLOOPCAST10, SLOOPCAST10 at checkout for 10% off your entire order. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company, where he has your butt covered. Everyone stick around and please be sure to follow both uh, the Buckeye Scoop on YouTube and, of course, follow us on YouTube. Follow both of us. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.